It is Yeah. Um <clears throat> um we're <laughs> I don't apologize. You have to deal with it. Um we're up against the guy who we did 60 in week 8. Let G, the son of Jet Li, is returned um for vengeance. Um and uh as you can see this is you know the same team obviously um no changes are allowed to be made um and uh as such my team is basically the same as well i don't really i'm a little uh unsure of how to even like explicate it um further um there is one well first let me say um yeah, a knockoff is really good to do his team. I have two knockoff users um, that can spam it fairly freely. Stealth Rock is good into his team. Um, and uh, I like Protect uh, for its priority um, rather than a uh, simple Roost. It also allows me to stall out uh, Hail Turns um, and uh, Scout for Weather Ball on you and Ice Beam on you. Um, Cinderace, I really like this uh, flare bits, flare bits, leftovers that um, helps me if I get frozen on the switch for a uh, ice beam. I don't know if pyro ball thaws actually, but um, I don't think I don't know. E either way, um, it you know has 100% accuracy, um, and I uh, didn't really need another uh, item. Um, core change obviously for veil, high jump kick for backs, and U turn is really good it also does huge damage to Latios um, Zoroark who is not going to be disguised as Pheasantipity I just forgot to change the name back to Ghost Car um, has the same old stuff Terror Blast Steel um, for uh, backs and for Nine Tails it, 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 feeling like you know it's it also has been three weeks I think maybe even longer since um uh, I don't think longer, but yeah, has since we've done anything with this league, just because there was one extra week um, for the pe people just were not keeping up with it. So uh, because things got screwed around the holidays, um, so they got a an, an extra week was tacked on, um, which is annoying, but okay. And then another extra week for. Um, a buy that we got which is i mean okay it uh, didn't really help me um but um i mean we're first overall um seed so we're only facing the eight seed coming into this after the 12 the 12 man playoff didn't have any upset so literally just the fifth through eight seed advanced and it would be just like if a top eight made it so yeah it was it didn't end up being a point <laughs> um uh, but yeah, so yeah, yeah, same same team, you know, you know, everything really s nice slow pivot over here, um, double scarf, um, really good hitting everything. Um, and then I was gonna say yeah, we have this new addition in Reggie Alecki, um, because I made the video before, so he had access to the paste, and I wanted to at least throw him off, um, because I played. The prep that I did, I told my uh, prep partners to prep specifically for the pace that uh, exists and is available um, because I didn't really want to change anything because I, I was so dominant last time. Um, and uh, I did actually lose um, to Doge uh, playing around the Endure on my um, Oricorio. Um, there was nothing I could do after backs got set up and I couldn't, uh, phase it out. Um, so, yeah, um, well, now I'm thinking about it. Maybe I could have withdrawn or choreo on that turn and then brought it back and tried for the mind game again. Anyway, we have the exact same thing on Reggie Alecki here with the endure red card in case anything gets set up and goes crazy. Um. I picked Regieleki just because it was fast and therefore it would be able to do stuff. And it also didn't need any HP, so it could be on one HP and do stuff. He's unlikely to bring hazards, and I have core change even if he doesn't. Um, 
We've got uh, a typical um, volt switch on it. Um, Thunder Wave can be really good for stopping setup threats as well. Um, and uh, that that could be like maybe like after I've endured and red carded out, I could T wave on the second uh, time back in, and then explosion um, just to randomly also deal with stuff that gets out of hand. It won't do a tremendous amount to backs. Um, it does I think 43 in snow with no veil, um, but you know I could definitely get a chip down to where that would be good. Anyway, no backs, uh, no backs. So we were hard countering backs really hard with the team because it was a huge threat to the team and now we've got uh, some other stuff to worry about um uh aegislash and salazzle are the new characters um who we have to deal with salazzle should be pretty easy to deal with with um glyscore same thing with aegislash glyscore should just go in um, but of course I don't have roost, um, so it can't, and it also wants to be answering a presumably no weather ball Landorus, as well as Latios, um, so it has, because it probably doesn't want to bother with Hitmontog because it has an ice move for sure. So it, it has its hands full, um, and, uh, we're, you know, Mola is also fat, thankfully it is a salt vest, um, and... Hopefully, yeah, you know, the rest of the team being extremely offensive that uh, just clicks buttons with no setup. Um, the fact that he doesn't have a whole lot that he can respond to defensively should hopefully come in clutch. I took a while considering what to do to start. Um, it was really either between Mola, Flip Turn, uh, Slow, and Protect Gliscore to start off. Um... I was a little worried maybe about, um, not sure, uh, you know, could be, you know, rocks or, uh, swords dance and teleon, um, any number of things, uh, that could take advantage of protect, maybe even, you know, sub on Salazzle wouldn't be that scary, but, um, you know, I, uh, the main thing that I was concerned about was knock from, uh, Landorus. Um, because that was something that actually caught me in prep. I knew, I, I had a feeling that it would probably be coming, um, but Doge was able to hit it on a, uh, switch out of Mola into Glyscore. So, I really want to get that Toxic Orb up, going to be really important, um, don't want to play around. So, I'm going to go and risk Protect Turn 1. And, there is no risk. He just snipe shots. I treat this thing like it's choiced the whole time. I never... Here, well... One moment. Let's show the next turn. Because we are able to simply go Mola. Um, he doesn't do anything crazy. It would probably be wise of him too. But anyway, let's... Go ahead. Because I never bothered to do this calc the entire time. Um, it's not ideal. Um, we need to have more awareness... Something else that I didn't do is, uh, you know, just check on the opponent's move sets the whole time and just be considering um, what they could do. You know, so a, a, a trap that a lot of people will fall into while playing is they see a mon and they consider it the entirety of that mon's move set um, and the you know, entirety of its uh, capability of its spreads, um, like a Gen two. EV spread, I believe. Um, yeah. So, yeah, but that, that's not the way it goes. It, everything in the game is just the totality of the game. This is why Protect is so powerful, um, because you gain that information. You know what game you're playing better. Um, if uh, one move is revealed, um, it is not unlikely that you can tell the whole set. Um, so, anyway. Not back Excalibur. Teleon. I'm thinking that this is Scarf, because he was Scarf the last game. He did make a lot of changes, but you know, that's just what's in the back of my mind. He's not Specs. Um, can he be Modest Scarf? He could be Modest Scarf, um, he could be Timid Scarf, but at any rate, 
I'm 99% sure he scarfed because he does simply switch out here. And I get a knock on the leftovers. Now I've been scared of weakness policy because agility weakness policy came. It was actually agility life orb that came against me in prep, um, but that gave me a real scare. Um, agility weakness policy is scary as well on this thing for sure. So um, we're going to remove the leftovers. I suppose that's good. Um, however, he does reveal roost. Um, okay, we went into Gliscor because we wanted to scout for a Thunderbolt. Um, Draco Meteor, I think, is also fine in the Gliscor. I haven't, didn't do that. But uh, anyway, he's not Specs, so I believe it is. Um, and um, I was thinking I could either protect or go into Cinderace on the Ice Beam afterwards. Because he wouldn't Ice Beam into Mola. That was my thinking. So that's why I felt that I was probably pretty safe to go Gliscor there. And I think going Cinderace is better um, because it gives me the position. And you just call Mind, okay? Um, we just are going to go ahead and get that Stab U turn off, Big Chip. And we're not. And that's okay, obviously, because we get momentum. Now, this is Zoroark. He was not going to do a lot of damage to me with a Sucker Punch, by the way. Um, I mean, he would do a lot, but, you know, I would live. So. Bonk. Maybe that was unwise, actually, because I don't I don't kill with Psychic. I don't think I do. Let me double check. Pheasant Dippity. You know, I was being stupid because, okay. I do to nothing. Another instance of my me, trusting Shodex too much that is with its unloaded data. Very stupid. I need to beat myself over the head and not do that next week because we have a nightmare opponent. Um, so again, like I, I, I think I had mentioned that like I was rusting a little bit. Um, but uh, we are just trying to think through all our turns and make good plays. We may not be our awareness um is probably lowered but uh because i also have not hardly been prepping because i had all my prep basically um so when you should have all your you know a, a large amount of knowledge and awareness and draft we don't really have it this week um we have we have you know some but uh, <clears throat> we don't have it to the extent that we should um and uh not having you know whatever calc in my head for assault vis hit on top there was an instance but at any rate he just thought it would be really easy to go um hit my top on uh or to go a bit bit to go uh landris on regielecki there and it wasn't really because a lot of chip occurred he decides to he doesn't want to take more i suppose i mean he could have just attacked um it wouldn't have knocked it out uh, but at any rate, yeah, the steel resists a psychic, so, but, um, I'd go into Gliscor because I do not want to take any damage on my Zoroark, considering that the, um, illusion is actually intact, and it's very frail. So, yeah, we are able to knock off that life orb. Get rocks up. And he decides to commit to the exchange, which is very odd. Um, this is not the right play on his part. Sorry, but we are going to take this Mon here for nothing. Inteleon, able to protect very freely. Now he does decide to make his double, but I make a mid-ground. I, it would be simply too easy to go into Mola again, and uh, you must consider it set up fodder. So we're going to go into something that's not set up fodder, and that can also take um, an ice beam, which is Fez. Simply going to U-turn out, not going to get tempted, and hitting that, we have a million things that threaten his whole team. Unfortunately, he does reveal King Shield. He didn't reveal it before, strangely. Um, 
but uh, we are going to attempt to get that damage down um, on uh, even at minus one um, on Aegislash, and we end up with a burn on him on top. So that's very unfortunate for him. We really did not need that luck, um, but uh, we will take it. And um, I did that on a rapid spin, by the way. Um, yeah, but uh, it was, ended up being very, very safe. And that crit really sucks. Yeah, because we could have actually used health on that, and I'll tell you why later. Yeah, something to do with this here, and my Terra Steel on um, Zoroark may have really helped us. Because now things are getting scary. That was a misplay. Because I should be calcing his bulk, and I'm not. And we do get this off. We're actually pretty lucky that that works out, and he decided not to roost. I suppose he did not want to get exploded on or T-waved or anything. So yeah, that was that was that was that was too close of a call. That was way too close of a call. Because um, it's not like explosion takes it out, but you know. I don't know. Yeah, we get lucky there. We get lucky there, and I'm not happy with myself that it had to come to that. Am I able to think a little bit harder on this, real quick? I'm sorry. <laughs> you know how you know this is how it goes. All right. So he is setting way up. And at this point, I do look and see, okay, he actually only has one attack, so what could it be? I actually didn't really think that it could be stored power, even though I'm a huge stored power fan, because again, my awareness is very low right now, um, and uh, I'm thinking that player F can two hit, but it can't. Um, however, I'm thinking, you know, there's certainly going to be ways around this. Outside of Regieleki, you would hope, depending on what move it is. Um, he's so fast right now that um, Regieleki and its Endure is seemingly the, the real move. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, Terra Steel it would have been a lot better to have uh, health on this. Um, I don't think it. It wouldn't live at this point for sure, uh, but I don't know if it would have uh, without the crit. Um, with Sucker and Punch, so maybe I should have even just attacked on him on top of that. Or I should have just Terrored, um, because it's not like he's going to fighting move. Yeah, I should have Terrored. Well, no, the reason why I didn't Terror is because of Age Slash. So, um, yeah, I wanted to keep uh, the Shadow Sneak immunity around. Um, and, yeah, that's why we weren't doing that. Um, and I was not respecting that he could be agility on Latios until he revealed it, because you think that's a move that you want to do a little earlier, right? Um, to be able to get stuff done, um, but he had just calm-minded um, before and allowed me to you know, go Cinderace. Um, but, yeah, he does fall for this ploy. Um, and, uh, yeah, it, 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 I, I suppose it makes sense, you know. I don't know how much he was thinking about um, explosion or uh, T-Wave, but he would outspeed almost certainly. So, yeah. At any rate, let's move along. Sorry. Yeah, but you know, that, that's that's the key moment that I have to focus on, that I have to glean from this, because this is my first draft game that I've played in three weeks. So I have to be taking this as seriously as I can. I'm gonna be going Mola. Oh, this is telling on. I'm sorry. Give me one sec to think harder about what we exactly were doing here. Okay. Yeah, I've just fucked the rhythm. I'm so sorry. Okay. Me. So sorry. 
so <laughs> with the R's. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so I go hard into that, but yeah, he decides to double Inteleon because he does not like Gliscor on. Um, a slash, I'm trying to keep up, but yeah, at, the, at this point, it becomes very difficult for him because I don't know what going hard Salazzle on Mola makes sense, but at any rate, we've got Zoroark in now. And all we have to do is this several times. And we're going to be cleaning up. He doesn't have any switch ins. Unfortunately, Latios is still around. And it can sweep me from this point if I'm not scared. If I'm not careful. Especially because he makes a good play right there. This whole time I'm I'm thinking, okay, once Latios comes in, I have to go hard Cinderace on it because I have a lot of health. I do not have 40% health. This is Zoroark. Um, but uh, I have a lot of health, and I should be able to kill with U-Turn. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, so it, it, he, he can't, he can't, he has to get way too much set up. He has to like you know roost and um, get that agility off, and uh, he can't do anything to pheasantipity yet either. So really, it's just about preventing Latios from getting out of control. Don't try and sit on it with Mola and uh, or Gliscor and knock off or anything. Um, so that sucks, but yeah, we are gonna go Mola on this, and he's gonna Terra Blast and do way too much damage. And I am forced to go Gliscor. So unfortunately he does have a good position, but I am able to go Cinderace. I'm thinking that the Roost is likely here, um, and uh, I can simply U-turn and knock him out. However, once again, I was not thinking about the bulk. Oh shit, oh shit, okay. No, okay, but yeah, he just call mines. He can't do anything at this point. He really needed to try and make a predict with Inteleon more often because, you know, this thing just ended up, you know, just snipe shotting into my Mola like four times. And I ended up even being able to pick this off with a flip turn. I didn't even liquidation because I wasn't even thinking <laughs> that I would kill <laughs> with a flip turn. Um, I was thinking I had to, I don't know, go out and. Uh, something and because he was scarf um go fez or i don't even know i was just i just knew i could win at that point no matter what i did so um i you know gg um there that was i think we you know we did recoup some ability um in playing this um and uh i don't think there was anything really terrible that we did we maybe needed to be more we didn't. We didn't want to fuck around with Latios like we were doing. We, like that. That you know, fucking around with Latios is a, a big problem right there because that could easily uh, get out of control. Um, considering what I had and staying in on Hitmontop or you know not tearing on it with a Zorark, even burned um, was probably not ideal. Um, but you know, it. it, it I mean, people are gonna say you're six owed, whatever. That doesn't mean I played perfectly. You know, I need to, I really need to step my game up. And I'm gonna take out uh, Agency as own uh, this coming week because that guy is a monster. Uh, he's, I, th I think if he beats me, he's, you know, shooing. To be honest, uh, you know, Sylvestron is a good player. Davey has had a monster season, um, and uh, Agency as own has even had a couple of L's. Um, but that guy's a, a real problem, like. I don't know how he had the L's that he did, but we're going to have to conjure um, whatever uh, whatever juice was used um, by the other players in dealing them out. So yeah, um, back back at it here. Uh, hopefully, you know, we can shake off this rust. Going to be trying to play in a lot of ladder. Going to be doing as much uh, prep as I can. Um, uh, I don't, don't want to give anything away, I guess. Um, case he watches uh, but this is you know it, it, getting a 6-0 is always fun so you know we we played well
Um, can't, you know, be too hard on myself, even though, you know. Yeah, we're just gonna be. <laughs> okay. Goodbye.